Welcome to Hovelli School News. The school day is changing from September. Lessons will be shorter, so we will get to home earlier. We've been trying to find out what it means to the students. Um, I think it's a lot better for us because finishing at four was very hard, I can't lie. Yeah, do you think you're going to revise more or get better grades since that? Uh, I think it was a good idea finishing at four, but... Um, yeah, finishing at four, I would say, was better for um, learning. More time for their own uh, private affairs, if you will, and, and teachers will have more time in the planning and in, in the reflecting on their lessons. Uh, it will benefit everybody all around, so I think it's a superb idea. Do you think it will affect people's education? No, I don't think so at all. I think that uh, uh, with the shorter day, it just means people are fresher. Uh, students are fresher when they come in the next day, and teachers are fresher as well. I think you can pack in a lot of quality teaching uh, in the time that you are given. So it's, so it's not so much about the quantity, the length of the day, but rather the quality of the teaching. So I think, no, it won't affect the quality of the education. I think everyone will benefit from it. Um, thank you for being here on Ho Valley News and have a good day. Thank you, you too. School lunches at Ho Valley have changed a lot lately. There's more choice and a whole new queuing system too. I went to have a look. Good morning, ladies and gents. We are the Ho Valley School News team and we are reporting about the new school lunches. Many are dying to know about the school lunches. Today our interviewer, Desmi, will be interviewing Erica, two year eight students, on his view on the lunches. Thank you, Lucas. I've just arrived at the scene of our interviewee. Erica, a year eight student who has experienced the new school lunches. Erica, I'm going to ask you some questions. Hello. Have you had the new school lunches? Uh, yes, I think they're better than they were before. On average, how much do you pay for your food? I think around £1.75. Do you think it's become healthier? Uh, slightly. Which lunch do you prefer and why? My favourite is on Friday, there's fish and chips and... I just think it's quite good. Do you like the new staff? Yeah, they always talk to you and they're really polite. Do you think the food has improved? Uh, yes, I do. Now, the sports. It's been a busy time for Ho Valley sports teams. Here's Will with more. Good evening, Ho Valley School News. Today we're going to share the most recent sports news. Firstly, let us go interview Mr Finch. Let's go and see what our friendly assistant, Tyrone, has to say about it. Hello, welcome to Ho Valley School. Today we have Sir. What other, what is clubs on Thursdays? So on Thursdays, I know I run a table tennis club at this moment. We also have some uh, girls netball and there's some boys football for obviously the younger years. So there's quite a few clubs on a Thursday, which is obviously a good day for PE. Why do you decide to do them? We want to obviously give everyone a chance to get better at sports. So... They might do them in PE and they want to be part of a club and be part of a team, so we give them an opportunity to get better by attending a club after school. Thank you, sir. Hello, guys. I am here at Ho Valley School at the dining area with Desmi, one of the fastest year eight students. Desmi. Hello, Desmond. How are you today? I'm feeling fine, thank you. What do you like about sports? Um, Sprinting and football. What position do you play on football? Um, I play defence or on the right wing. Hmm. Do you play for the school team? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Do you think the school team's good? Yeah, relatively. What do you think about sports box? The sports box, um, it's a great facility. Um, could use some upgrades, but great staff, great everyone. Yeah. Why did you decide to join football team for um, the school? Cause I just did football club and I found it it was like really fun to do so I just decided to play for the school team. Well thank you. Hello. We're having another interview with one of our fellow students in Ho Valley. Please welcome Mahad. Hello Mahad, how are you doing today? I'm very good, how are you? I'm good thank you. Today we're going to speak of topic of sports. How do you feel about that? Um very good actually. Thank you. You are our second interviewer. So what team do you support? Um, in football, I support Liverpool. Liverpool. Why do you like Liverpool? Because my dad supports them, so does my dad's dad. So I thought I'd just support them as well. Do you think one day you want, you'll you be able to play for Liverpool? Hopefully. That's what I'm trying to do. What What are you doing to help make sure that you're going to join Liverpool in the future? 
Um, I train at home and I also go to a club. What is that club? Uh, Woking Tigers. Is it a very good club? Very good, actually. What position do you play for? I play centre mid. Well, thank you. It's been a chilly winter in Mayford. Bilal has been trying to find out why. Hello, hello. welcome to Hull Valley School News. And today, we're going to be interviewing people about the weather. Even though it's four degrees, we'd like to hear their thoughts. So what's your opinion on Hello, that? my name is Zach, and the weather outside is absolutely shiny. <laughs> and I'm Tegan, but the weather is actually so cold. But wear a coat, of course. That's some interesting thoughts for my interview. a prominent teacher in Hull Valley to see how the weather was for him. So, Mr Carr, what are your opinions on the weather? I think the weather has been uncomfortable, uh, to say the least. I think that uh, um, uh, I am always of the philosophy that uh, winter always uh, you know, gets us appreciating the sunshine, yeah. uh, but I think lately it's just been a little too cold. I hate having to scrape ice off my car, uh, so I actually came up with a, with a little trick you know, to help myself in the morning, okay. right, to save time. So what I did was I got a really huge towel, right, and I put it over my windscreen so that I don't have to scrape ice off the windscreen. So that's how I got around that problem, but I think it's been very uncomfortable and inconveniencing. Okay. Thank you for uh, your time, Mr. Carr. So you can see right now, it's quite sunny, and we expect the sun to settle in after a few... Uh, of Hello, welcome to the long-awaited weather forecast. Now, folks, let's skip to it, and I'm going to tell you about the weather. Here in Woking, we expect the frost to settle in for the next few days, so make sure to get your scarves out, because I believe it will be cold. But then, as we go up to the M25 in London, as we know, the capital of the UK, produces a lot of pollution, so we expect an atmospheric shield to protect it in from the frost. But as we go uh, up the country, we expect it to be freezing cold. So if you want to do a winter visit, I'd recommend not, unless you bring a lot of protection. Well, that's it for today, folks. I hope you have a nice one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.